Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a collective or general reading for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So thank you all so much really quickly for all of the birthday wishes. You guys are amazing. The donations, the emails, the comments. I love you so much. That really made my day. I just like I'm like, wow. <laughs> it really warmed my heart. Made me super happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys a lot. So getting into this reading, as you can see, we have two cards. All of the cards are flipped upright. I pull them out before the reading just because I'm a little bit on a time constraint trying to catch up on readings that I am delivering today. So if you did purchase a reading from me, a private reading, you will be getting that before the end of day today or whenever you watch this but for sure, within the end of the day today. This is a timeless reading. Please like and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. The first set of cards here, I'm only reading Oracle and the Lenormand, is going to be for the Earth signs. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Timestamps are in the description box below if you do not want to watch all of the placements. This will apply to Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So there may be significant messages for you. Take the ones that are for you and take the ones that are not because these are general. So not everything will be specifically for you. Keep in mind this is general. It is not particularly meant for you as like a whole. Okay, so we have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo here. We have main male and communicate. So I feel like if you are a masculine energy, you're really in your element. You're very focused on someone and i see you looking really really good um as far as like self-care taking care of yourself you could be getting like a new wardrobe or going shopping but i do see you looking very good very much like <clears throat> your clothes looks amazing the way you dress is very attractive to people or you're just very presentable or you take pride in how you look as most i'm getting more like virgo energy but this is all earth signs in general and taurus as well something about your hair Maybe you're doing your hair, you got a haircut, or a new hairstyle, something like that. You're doing something to yourself as a form of self-love, self-care, and it looks amazing. So, I do see family is important to you. If you had any type of family issues, I feel like those are coming to a closure as far as things are getting better, or they will be. Whoever I'm reading for, you feel more grounded, you feel more focused. But I see you being illuminated to the truth about a particular person that you're very attracted to. This could be another man or another woman, but I'm getting a masculine energy wanting to speak to someone that you feel you've been holding back some type of information, or maybe you thought it wasn't the right time. But I see this main male energy here with the first card on the left as you, Earth Signs, wanting to reach out to someone to communicate. You got something to say and you're finally going to say it. I'm hearing let's address the elephant in the room. So if you're attracted to somebody, I don't feel as negative. I feel like you're attracted to someone physically, intimately, like sexually, you like someone, earth signs, and you're finally going to let that be known. This person could be older or wiser than you, or you see them on your level, 333. Surrounded by the energy of love, the time is now. Your angels and guides are pushing you forward to this person. For some of you, you guys are an earth angel or healer, or you are spiritually gifted somehow, some way. I'm hearing, yeah, of course, obviously, right? Otherwise, why would you be watching Moonlight Shadows? <laughs> so, you're gifted and you see this person as your match. There is something about this person that you're attracted to, something about their eyes that draw you to them. You feel like this person has a lot of wisdom, but you know this person holds back. Whoever you're attracted to is holding back from speaking to you because they want you to be in that masculine energy to pursue them, guy or girl, it doesn't matter. They want you, because you're in the masculine energy, to take that, like, it's not like it's a challenge, but they want you to pursue them and you like that. And that's why you're noticing them because it's like they're playing a little hard to get, but they have let you know that they're very much interested in you. I don't feel like it's a hard to get thing. It's more like they're letting you fill that masculine role. And that is actually a turn on for you. You're very attracted to that. So I see you pursuing someone. You are attracted to them. 444, things are happening for a reason. There's a lot of communication peaceful energy, healing energy. You guys are both intuitive. The way the reflection of my phone is on this man's shoulder. I feel like your angels and guides are around you. That's a sign to me that they are guiding you 
to connect with whoever this is. So the spirit animal of the elephant can be significant for you. 505, there is a significant change, but in a positive way. So definitely listen to your angels, guides, your intuition, and you will be having communication with someone. They could be older than you, or they are just very mature, and that is part of why you are attracted to them. The mind, the mental, the expansion, the consciousness. It's like there's something that you and this person see eye to eye, and that's why you have chosen this particular person, because I feel like you have a lot of options, Earth signs, but there's one person in particular that you are being guided to, and you are very drawn to them. So I feel like this is a connection about love, someone that you are going to connect with if you're single. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're starting to realize how much this person cares about you, and it's like the blindfold is being lifted for those of you who may have been under spell work, and now you are seeing that this person really does care about you, 555 angel number, and you are going to give that energy back to them. It will be an equal exchange of energy. You guys are going to communicate about something, and it's going to bring you guys a lot of happiness. So mostly hearing, let's address the elephant in the room. So it's like, obviously I know you like me and you know I like you, so why don't we just do something about it? <laughs> it's kind of like what I'm getting here with Pow One, but it's a really nice, peaceful energy. Someone's a little bit nervous. It could be you or this person. But I do feel like this connection because he is like in a, looks like he's in a study or family room, but I feel like it's like, you feel so drawn to this person. It's like, okay, we need to talk about something. You're a little bit serious earth signs, but it's not a bad way it's just like you want to make sure that you're planning correctly but it's about a connection with someone that you like and you have feelings for you are attracted to this person you want them and i feel like the outcome is very positive because they want you to and they're letting you take that lead to let them know okay so that's the message pal one i'm also getting um i heard tell them to say it get out of your head and just let them know what you want okay stop beating around the bush that's the elephant in the room. It's like, stop going around circles. Just tell them what you want. Say it. Okay. So that's the message. Earth signs. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We're going to get to pile number two. Or I don't know why I said pile two. <laughs> I always do pick a card. So it's kind of just like a habit. But maybe you watch pick a cards. I don't know. But the next um, messages are for the air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun and Rising and Venus. Okay. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You have mature woman, number six, surrounded by the energy of love. Um, we also have listen. You guys are clear audience. You're getting messages from angels and guides. You have a new guide coming through or a new type of protection spirit of some sort. You have someone on your spiritual team. Do not get stressed out and do not get angry. Air signs is what I'm getting. Let things be as they should be. I'm also getting air signs. You might be dealing with an earth sign because air signs, you have listen. And then the earth signs have communicate. So you might be listening to something that an earth sign has to say to you. Take what resonates. That's not for everybody. But And you also have purple and blue. And this is purple and blue that I'm seeing here with the watermarks. So with the colors. So it's like you're, you're connecting to someone telepathically is what I'm getting here. And I feel like it's your divine counterpart, man or woman. But the feminine energy is very reserved. You're waiting to hear back from something and something or someone, and you will. I'm also getting you're communicating with a past loved one in the upcoming weeks for um, All Hallows Eve or Day of the Dead. You are in your energy. You're in your power. You are in your element. You're waiting very calmly for something. You're also observing and you're learning how to communicate with your spiritual team. Go to the ocean connect with your emotions this conch is significant for you um maybe you have one or you need to hear the sound of the ocean because that will help raise your vibrations to connect with your spiritual team to be on that same frequency or maybe you're listening to frequencies 9 11 archangel michael is with you your intuitive gifts are being enhanced you're getting a spiritual gift as a result of this full moon that just passed and you're going to be able to hear your guides and your angels and all energies around you and you need to learn how to shield yourself which i feel like you are don't get stressed relax the number six could be significant for you six is also the number of love so i feel like you're loving yourself you're holding back you're putting up boundaries you are observing air signs how people treat you how they interact with you you might be going through um a decluttering phase but not physically it's more so you're decluttering your friends, your acquaintances, the people who are genuine. 
you are going to see who they truly are and the people who don't have your best interest, you will see that too. And it's like the universe, your spiritual team is showing you because with her eyes, she is very focused in the way she's raising her eyebrows. She's like, oh, I see you are a good person or oh, I see you're actually a fake friend. Like you're trying, you're seeing, I heard you were trying to figure it out, but with this month in October, I feel like you're actually seeing things for what it is. I'm also getting if you left flowers for past loved ones or on your altar for your ancestors, they will be received or you will receive a sign that it was accepted. And with all of these windows, mind, body, and spirit, you're able to connect. I'm also getting to the astral realms. You can astral project or your dreams are significant messages and you need to write them down. I heard six hours or six days something significant will happen. But it's going to be something happy, something peaceful. Also getting a spiritual bath or shower will help you because you have haters. So that you can ground yourself and claim back your energy. Work with yellow, citrine, or pyrite to call in your energy because you do have haters. They're trying to throw you off balance. It's not going to work. Uh, connect with your solar plexus because you will be also be healing your throat chakra and your third eye. You're going to have a spiritual gift amplified or you're getting a new gift. So, for example, if you thought you were clairaudient, it's like, uh, get ready, because now it's going to be amplified like a hundred, like times a hundred. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's it. You already know the messages, that, the messages that you're getting are correct. You won't be stuck in your head. It's not so much like you're not talking as much, maybe, because you're receiving the messages intuitively. So all you have to do is listen and the answers will be given to you. But you, there's nothing wrong with your throat chakra air signs. I feel like things are balanced now and you are in this energy of observing and like taking note of what you are seeing, experiencing. Lots of journaling and writing for you. 1212 angel number for you air signs. So really calm, peaceful energy. I really like it. It's nothing uh, tense, nothing negative. It just feels very calm. For some of you guys, if you live near the ocean or the sound of the ocean, it would benefit you to be around that because it does uh, create this calming energy of your angels and guides to wash away the negative energies that people might be projecting onto you with the ocean wind is what I'm getting and it will bring peace to you. Okay, so moving on to the fire signs. Thank you for watching. Fire signs down here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the North Node, I'm hearing. You have great fortune with number 26, the 6, and the 2 is a number 8. So infinite wisdom, spiritual abundance, the ladybug, spirit animal could be significant for you. You have great fortune and worthy. So I feel like you guys have money, 13, 13. There's a spiritual transformation taking place if you're waiting for a job to start a business. I feel like things are finally starting to take off for you. The ladybug spirit animal talks about good luck if I am not mistaken. I heard good luck over misfortune. So if you were struggling financially, 1331, as above, so below, there's going to be a significant change here. You may be having help from someone or advice from either a business partner or a friend who's trying to help you overcome this, but you have money coming in and I feel like it's a spiritual blessing. I don't feel like it's so much a spiritual abundance. I do see spiritual wealth here. You could be dealing with, I heard Venusian, so it could be a Libra or a Taurus. For some reason, this um, image is giving me like Aphrodite vibes, even though I know it's not. But you have a money blessing coming your way. For some of you, you have a protection spirit, a glacious spirit, or a past loved one. I see a spirit a spirit is helping you bring this money blessing so remember to give offerings to that energy because they are helping you they are not harming you they're helping to give you your stability that you are seeking with your finances i'm also getting be careful who you give your money to because i also see someone wanting to come in once they know that you have money to take from you I heard they are a taker. Do not let them take your money if you know this person does not deserve it or if you know that this person will not pay you back. 
with Worthy, make sure that you make good business deals with people that have a good reputation or that you know intuitively that you can trust. Otherwise, protect your money because you work hard for it and not anyone is deserving of it, okay? But I see good fortune, blessings, people coming towards you for the right reasons, and then you also have people wanting to come towards you because they want to take from you, so use discernment here. If it feels right, go for it, and if it doesn't feel right, then do not do that. Put up a boundary, but you do need to sage and cleanse because I also see people um, trying to project onto you because they're jealous, okay? So claim back your energy, be in your energy, do not take on other people's problems because they are not yours to take or solve. So that's what I have for you, fire signs. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Really quick reading, short and to the point, but I think you guys are already like, are very much aware of what's going on. Very intuitive fire signs, especially with this full moon in Aries. If you were manifesting money or you have been, it is definitely on its way to you. Beautiful blessing of financial gain. Okay, so moving on to the next section which is the last part of this video. We're working with the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You have 28 expectation. You guys got two cards. You have wisdom and then you have acceptance. So I feel like if you've been waiting for something that you were expecting, like you guys are waiting on someone or something, it's like, when is it going to happen? I've been waiting. You're finally getting information about it. The owl is your spirit animal. You guys already have the answers within, so I don't know why you're doubting your intuition, is what I'm hearing. But I'm also getting you need to release the past because you don't live there anymore. So why are you looking at the past? If you have photos of someone or something that you keep reflecting on, get rid of it. You're not there anymore. You need to be in the present. You're getting a message. If you've been asking your angels and guides for something, they are here and they are going to communicate that to you. With acceptance, you need to let things be. I'm also getting if you've been spying on someone, you need to stop. If someone is spying on you, you will be made aware of it. And I feel like you may give this person closure or you just might. If this is you spying on someone, you just need to accept things the way that they are and move on with your life. Surround yourself with the energy of love. You have a pink aura. We're working with rose quartz. Or blue lace agate could benefit you because you are focused on something that is not for you or someone is focused on you and you guys are not meant to be on each other's path so this is about letting go i feel like you have let go i heard the art of letting go which i believe is a book so maybe you guys need to connect with some type of poetry or um, spiritual reading that will give you guidance on how to uplift your spirits to move on and let go you guys are really in your head. You're getting a lot of messages in your dreams. Or you guys could have visions and signs. And that is a beautiful thing. So write it down. Because your angels and guides are helping you on what you need to do to accomplish on your own spiritual journey. I'm hearing your eyes are the windows to the soul. So you might be able to read eyes. Or you're starting to be able to read people better. Being outdoors is very healing for you. Because the owl is wisdom. I'm also getting Lilith to give you strength. I'm also getting you have an ancestor who guides you, so you might have birds around you and they're giving you messages. I'm also getting you're healing a connection with someone that you care about, but you're finally releasing the pain or some type of trauma from your past. You're letting go, you're healing, you can talk about it now, and it doesn't affect you because you are stronger, you're healed, you have a golden aura of an angel that surrounds you, an archangel, for some, it could be Michael because it's 1911, which is 911. And then we have 1011, which is 111. If you play with the numbers, it's like an ending of something, the start of something new, your intuition, mind, body, and spirit. You were healed. The two and the eight is a 10. So there's definitely an ending. But it's like you're finally closing out a chapter. You're reflecting on it. You've learned. You've understood it with wisdom and you've accepted it. And it's like... I see the good in it now and how it has helped me grow as a person and I'm okay. You're healing. And if you're healing, also I'm getting if you have 
spoken to a therapist, your friends, or maybe you're just connecting to God, your angels, your spiritual team. It's like, this is helping you. You're in a really good place. With the blue and the pink, I feel like you have a strong yin and yang balance of masculine and feminine energy. You're like the phoenix rising. Strong Scorpio coming through. But it's a very beautiful, peaceful... It's like, finally, I, I'm free, I'm healed, I'm happy, and it's all good now. I'm hearing all the way up. Nothing can stop me. So it's like, you'll overcome something, water signs, and you should be proud. You're going to keep getting messages. You have a grandmother or a mother figure who is around, who guides you, who loves you very much. You may be receiving a sign from her, a symbol, a synchronicity to let you know that she's with you and she loves you. Very beautiful, loving energy. She's always protecting you. So that's what I have for you. Also getting you need to study something because it will help you or it will guide you for your next step in your life. Okay, so that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting my channel. Bye guys.